Hi, I'm Lauren Varno. I'm here with the new D-line coach for Purdue football, Kevin Walthousand. I've talked to Coach Tibisar and Coach Burns already, and they both have a pretty long history of coaching that brought them to Purdue. Is that the same for you? Well, I think so. My first year coaching was 1980, so. Okay, fair enough. I won't even make you go through it. No. But uh, what was your last coaching job? The last one I was in was in that new pro league called the United Football League. Okay. So I was in that, and then prior to that, I was in the NFL, and then before that, uh, I was at Louisville. So that's the most recent. Time. Okay, that's really cool. That you're with the NFL and the UFL. Is that what it's called? Mm -hmm. What's the biggest difference do you think coming from the professional leagues back to college ball? The, you know, the experience level of the players, obviously, in, in the professional league, is always you know at minimum. Right. They've normally gone through an entire college career, and then they're and they're rookies. Mm -hmm. For the most part, they're, you know, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten year veterans of, of professional football. So you right. have an experience level that's very, very high. Um, but the biggest difference in, from college football to pro football, time wise, is the amount of time that the players can spend perfecting their craft. They, you know, they don't have to go to class. You right. know, in the NFL, and their class is right. And here in the meeting rooms, on the field, in the weight room, everything about getting ready to play. Definitely. They've already gone to school, you know. So here, it's, which is the right thing, you know, they, they have to, you have to blend being a student athlete, you know, as you know, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. You're a student and you're an athlete. And so you got to, you know, you got two full time jobs that require all your time. Definitely. You are bringing back a lot of big players. You lost Gooden, but you have KK Short back. Uh, Gaston and who else? Ryan Russell. I don't want to leave anyone out. So, are you feeling confident with all those returning players with your D line? Yeah, I think um, you know, any time that you bring back players that that have a good amount of experience, have had some amount of success, you know, what you try to do is build on that, and that's good for younger players that you bring in because then they have, you know, players that have a pretty good idea of what you're trying to do. Now, even those guys. There's three of us new on defense. Those are a lot of, going to be a lot of new things for them. So hopefully that will keep the learning curve high. Definitely. So how long have you been in West Lafayette so far? Uh, less than two weeks. So not long. Have you experienced anything new and exciting here? Or is it pretty basic so far? Um, just learning my way around town. Now the town's not very big, right. you know, but still. Um, just getting to where I'm staying and back and forth, that, that was an excitement. The weather's changed about every day, so that's a little bit different yep. than where I last came from. So Between the one-way roads here and the weather, I think you might have your hands yeah. full for a while. Well, that's good. Do you have a favorite food? You know what? I'm a fan of food. So it really, Just food, period? No question. Fair enough. And how about a favorite band? You know what? I've really gotten into Christian music lately. Okay. So that's anything in that realm I'm good with. Awesome. Well, thanks for talking with us today, and I hope you get used to West Lafayette soon, and good luck this season. Thank you. Appreciate it.